Hello, I'm Dr. Ahmad Fawzi Mohd Sharif. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist and vitro retinal surgeon for Center for Sight in Malaysia. I'll be talking to you about retinal attachment. What is retinal attachment? Retinal attachment is a condition where which the layer of at the side of your eye called retina is separated from a supporting layer at the back. There's a slight picture showing how it looks like. Now, but what is a retina? Our retina is the most important layer in our eye. It is actually the nervous layer in our eye which detects light that is imaged so that we can see. It's basically similar to a film negative in a camera. If the negative is not good, no image will be picked up. So why do retina detach? Well, general retinal detachment occurs due to two main conditions. Either that's because there is a retinal break, there is could be a hole or a tear, or could be some traction forces pulling the retina apart. Now, there are two photos here in the next slide that shows you how this thing is. One showing a hole and one showing a tractional, which occur most typically in diabetic eye diseases. Now, who are at risk of getting retinal detachment? The fact is almost anybody can get retinal attachment, but there are a few of us who are increased risk of getting it. While those those who are short sighted or myopia, that is those who can see near but can't see far, the more myopic you are or the more short sighted you are, the higher the risk for you to develop retinal attachment. Another type is trauma. Any form of trauma can of course cause the retina to tear and lead retinal attachment. And of course, certain medical conditions like diabetes, as I said earlier, can also cause tractional retinal attachment. And there is an incidence of retinal attachment which is found to be related among family members. So if you do have a family history of retinal attachment, you may be at slightly increased risk of developing retinal attachment. Now, how do you detect or how do you suspect that you actually have retinal attachment? One of the earlier signs and maybe symptoms that you can detect is, of course, you notice a presence of what we call floaters. These are translucent specks that you can actually see in your field of vision. You may have had it all this while, but you will probably notice an increased number of these floaters when the retinal tear has occurred. You may also notice what we call photopsia, which is light flashes. It's basically like uh, a camera flash occurring inside the eyeball, which you can actually see even with your eyes closed. Of course, their symptoms are blurring of vision. And when retina is detached, you will notice a dark spot occupying your visual field, depending which part retina is detached. So how do you examine for retinal attachment? As usual, when you come for examination, we check your visual acuity, your vision, and of course, it's important for you to have a fully dilated eye examination again, as shown in the slide. Now, how can we treat retinal attachment? If you come early, and all you have is just retinal tear without retina actually detaching, we can easily do lasers around the tear, and they will seal the break and you will not uh, progress to develop a full-blown retinal attachment as shown in the picture in the slide. But should you present late and it's all is due to a tractional attachment like diabetes, surgery is the most common and most uh, important treatment for these conditions. And it can either be externally done by putting a buckle around the eye, or supporting the eye where the retina is attached, or by doing what I also call as pass plana vitrectomy. There is a video showing this procedure in this website. Thank you.